extremely happy right now. Uh, I'm just gonna try and make this a short video. So, I bought a PS4 off of a random person. Um, they said that uh, it was just black screen. It was completely broken. I picked it up for like forty dollars. Okay, whatever. And I also got two controllers with it, which is pretty awesome. But um, so I took it back home. Uh, I turned it on, and it uh, it went to the PS4 logo, and then after the PS4 logo, it went to a black screen, and um, kept like turning on and off, like input on, but still black screen. I don't know. Uh, the backlight just kept turning on and off for my brand new TV, so uh, I uh, did a lot of researching. People said change the HDMI, uh, make sure the power supply is completely there. Everything was fine. Um, so I um, downloaded a copy of the PS4 um, software here. I still have the page brought up. Just type in to Google. Um, uh, hold on. Come on. Come on. Okay, there you go. Just type into Google um, PlayStation uh, PS4 update and then go and download the. Uh, there's like two different files you can get. You can get the actual update or you can get the actual um, system software like full download. So make sure you download the bigger file and then install that, or not install it, but follow the directions on the PlayStation website, get the USB storage, create a PS4 um, folder, and then in that folder, create an update folder, and then slap that download into the update folder. Um, boot your PS4 into safe mode, and then uh, initialize like the full init initialization, so that like deletes all the um, user data and everything. Everything's completely wiped off. But I did that, and nothing happened. Same thing. It went to a black screen after the PS4 logo. I thought I was completely screwed. I thought it could have been an HDMI output, but um, before I went and bought anything, I just decided I'll test it with my hard drive, replacing it with the hard drive. So I got the good old, I busted out the old PS3 um, and uh, took the hard drive out of that bitch, slapped it on in there, put the USB stick on. Initialize the hard drive, reinstalled the PlayStation software, and what do you know? It actually works now. So, just thought I'd put that out there. Like, people are always saying, oh, it's completely screwed. Well, try, like, first things first, like, try HDMI cord. If that doesn't work, try, make sure the TV's fine. Make sure to check the pins on the back of the PlayStation. Like, make sure there's no, like, pins that are standing up blocking the HDMI port. Make sure the HDMI port isn't actually broken. Um, and then, last resort, replace the hard drive, which I did. And now it works. So, yay.